step three of how to set your massage therapy prices. I want to talk about adding value. It is so important. Step one, you understand your marketplace. Step two, you've set your pricing. Step three, hopefully you've set the highest price or maybe you've set the low price. It doesn't matter. Where's the value in it? That's the key. Where is the value? I remember actually when I was, God, how old was I? There was this amazing video by Wendy's saying about that burger joint and the, the lady was like, where's the meat? I want to know the meat. And it's because that's what's important to a burger joint. And they made millions on that one advertising campaign. So. I just want to say, add the value. So where's the value, right? Where is it? Okay, how do you add value? We need to figure out what you're doing. What is your service? Let me talk about pregnancy massage. It's a simple one. So when we do pregnancy massage, we've got awesome, comfy sheets. They're larger than usual. We've got awesome, comfy blankets. We've got lots of pillows. We got the uh, pregnancy cushions. We got the pregnancy, uh, you know, long pillows that you can hug. They're like hugging your partner. We've got everything. We've got different lotions. We've got the music. We've got dim lights. Like, make sure whatever you're doing, you're doing it well. Okay. Imagine if I'm coming in and I want to deal with hockey players. Well, if I want to deal with hockey players. Probably cool. Maybe have a gym. Right? Maybe you have a little gym beside it. It could be as small as you want. It could be as big as you want. Maybe you're in a multidisciplinary clinic and you have physios and kinesiologists, uh, chiros, whatever, that are dealing with sports and hockey players. Again, where is the value for the patient? I assure you, I love hockey. If I'm injuring my uh, hamstrings, I'm going to pay extra to go to a specialist who understands hockey and can treat me. So if I, I got a massage therapist that understands the sport I play and they play it, right? Remember we talked about that in other videos. I'm instantly connected. I'm going to pay more. And I'm the right person they want to see. If I go, oh, I don't really have the money to come to see it, come see you, that's okay. Don't worry about treating that person. Find people that understand your value, understand what you're doing, and want to receive treatment from you. Okay, so what is the value in a, in a hockey player? As I say, it could be the gym, it could be the kinesiologist, it could be the multidisciplinary approach with the team, uh, it could be uh, strength, stretch and strengthening videos that I additionally send to them afterwards. Uh, it could be the fact that I have, um, maybe uh, you've got VIP clients and, and you want to provide a flexible cancellation schedule, right? Maybe that's the value. So if I've got a lot of money, but I'm a super busy person, and I book my appointment and I have a tendency to cancel, well, that's my value, right? I go, oh, fuck, that's why I come to that place, because they don't get on my ass about canceling and charging me. But I don't mind paying a premium for that. So where is the value? Now, again, if you're in the middle, it's really hard to deal with these things. Right? If you're just a middle player, middle price, middle uh, service value, it's pretty hard. Right? You can be at the high, you can be at the low. It doesn't matter where is that value you're going to provide as a massage therapist. So think about it. It really does come from step one, understanding your market and what's happening there. And then also what we do is um, we understand our market, but we also look elsewhere. So we want to look outside our immediate market and what are people doing in New York? What are they doing in Miami? What are they doing in LA? What are they doing elsewhere that I can learn so we can apply? I remember back in the day, we used to have the heated uh, thermophores um, and they were great. They're so great. We still have them, but they're really regional, but that's how we warmed up our tables. Then I was like, oh my God, let's get some table warmers. Well, table warmers in Vancouver, it's a very damp climate in the winter. You come in in November and you sit on a, a lay on a table warmer, you instantly go, oh, man, this is fantastic. So again, we added that. That was just one of the simple value adds uh, that we do. Now we look out and we say, hey, we're going to send out a text reminder. People are busy in downtown Vancouver. 
They want to be reminded. Well, that really helped people come in and they go, hey, thanks very much for reminding me. I got really busy at work. I got a text an hour before I was able to make it. Again, there's so much opportunity here. You can do anything. The sky's the limit, right? Maybe it's the type of table you use. We actually have a specialized table uh, for a few of the uh, different treatments we do. Like they're, they're actually built for that type of um, treatment. So again, sky's the limit. What is it to you? Get out there, guys. Take action. Love doing the videos for you. So the three-part series was simply put. Step one, understand your market. Step two, set your rate. High, low, never in the middle. Step three, figure out where the value is. And again, I'll go step four. Get out there and just take action, guys. If you're looking at your practice and you're evaluating it and you're passionate about doing it, are you sure you nothing goes wrong? If you're just watching these videos like, oh, it's just free time on the internet and you never really take action, oh boy, that's Medioqueville. But you're not that type of person. So get out there, guys. Take action. Can't wait to see you in the next one.